Gamers, I'm going to make myself a touch smaller, and we're going to check out Yoon Jin's uh, little character demo. I'm excited about this. Yoon Jin looks really interesting. Let's just take a peek at what she could do, and then we can actually go over some of her skills. Uh, I think that we need to see all of her My passives. Name is Yoon Jin. Just hold on. We need to see all of her passives and constellations before you can fully know, because uh, this, uh, like this thing, they do a little breakdown of what she does. But I, I don't think that it fully explains her value. They said in the showcase, or they sh what was it, the, the, the patch uh, preview thing, that she is going to support other elements other than GL. But it doesn't really say anywhere in here where that's happening. They show off one of the skills, or two of the skills, and it's really interesting. This one's unique. We'll talk about it in a minute. But um, we need more info, so I'm not going to say that she's good until we see that in game but i'll give you my initial reaction right now well, I meet let's you. go back beautiful voice my name is yunjin it's such a pleasure to finally meet you and i'd be honored to have you attend a performance sometime okay the uniting in the art of the sphere hoping to enhance my performance in stage combat i stuck with it hoping to master the techniques of self-defense i believe i've grasped the basics now I dare say you'd better be careful when we're sparring together in the future. Okay. And step! Close up! I really like that character background. You know? She's like, the only reason I know these martial arts is because I wanted to perform better. And I'm just practicing it. Like, it's just defensive. Like, I don't know why. That's actually really cool. Uh, another thing that I just thought of, polearm user is instantly valuable because of the catch. Honestly, moving forward, if you see a polearm pole arm user... You just have to instantly think, yep, they're probably going to be good now because the catch is so busted and free. Like, it, it's, it's, that, it's that good. And, you know, there's other craftable weapons in the game that you could say you could throw in a bunch of four stars. But you've got to get the prototypes. And in many cases, you can't get multiple refinements. You know, Kazuha can use the Iron Sting, but you need five prototype copies. That is not easy to get early on, and it's going to take you a long time to get it. With the catch, if you truly wanted to, you can bang that out in a couple weeks uh, or in a couple days uh, if you get some friends together. But anyways, just wanted to say that I'm, you know, I'm always hyped with polearm characters. Observe. Hey, hey. Great character one. model. Beautiful character model. The best. She looks so good. She sounds amazing! Okay, Yunjin, Geo, Opera, Liyue. You can get her for free if you want, which is amazing. Uses the same books as Shang Ling, and I think Kazuha uses these as well. Got some Hilitro mask. Cool, cool, cool. Talents. Uh, she's a support. Or seems to be a support. Typically, you're not going to worry about her normal attack and charge attack. See, I wish you would just graze over this. That's fine, but I want to know what her passives are. You don't have to tell me the constellations right now, but tell me all the passives as well. There's two, maybe three, that are very, very important, and they always leave them out of this. So it's like, we have an idea of what the character does, but one of them could be like, takes away 5% of opponent's HP per second for 5 seconds on using your burst. And it would be like, that's God tier against high HP enemies. You know, like, there could be some cracked passive in there that completely changes the unit, and they don't really show it. So, anyways. So, this ability, I was thinking, is just like Beto and her, you know, counter ability, but it's a little bit different. You charge up this ability, and it actually jumps up in damage. There's two stages, stage one and stage two. So, if you just kind of tap it, just do it quickly, you're going to get stage one, and if you hold it, you get stage two. Now, it says when you release it, you will let out the damage, or if the shield breaks. So you could almost use it like a counter, but I don't know if there's any benefit to a last-minute timing. It doesn't really say anywhere in here. It just says when releasing the skill, when the duration ends, or when the shield breaks, you will let out a charge energy based on the time spent charging. So it doesn't say you get a bonus level for timing it properly. You have to just be charging it for an extended period of time. And so you would want this shield most likely to be able to tank a hit or two so that it doesn't instantly break and pop and give you level one damage. You would want to tank a hit, get the value of that shield, 
and keep it up, keep charging, and then pump them. So we're going to see how this plays out. And again, constellations as well as her passives might completely change how this functions. So it's really hard to say. So this ability is very interesting, and the wording on it is pretty unique. It's actually a kind of one of a kind. Now, it functions similar to a Xing Cho ultimate. You can see she kind of does that thing, does a little bit of geo damage. But what it does is it actually boosts up your normal damage. Now, that can be elemental if you are using Ayaka and she's doing cryo normal attacks. I don't think that impacts it. If you're D Luke, who's used his burst and you're using fire, it shouldn't impact them as long as you're doing a normal attack. So she'll be trash with someone like Ganyu, right? But here's the thing. This is, this is weird. So normal attacks deal more damage based on Yunjin's current defense. But the effect of flying cloud flag formation will be cleared after a set duration or after being triggered a specific number of times. It doesn't say 10, it doesn't say five. But here's the thing. When one normal attack hits multiple opponents, the effect is triggered multiple times according to the number of opponents hit. So if you have a big claymore hitting multiple, multiple units, it'll pop, 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 rock multiple times, apparently. Or one for each of them. But on top of this, the number of times that the effect is triggered is counted independently for each member of the party. So my question is, does this have a long duration? Like this thing lasts for 25 seconds, but there's only so many charges. And hypothetically, you would rotate through all of your teammates and do normal attacks to proc all the different flags, right? And that's cool and it's unique, but here is my issue with that. What supports do you have built that have their normal attacks leveled up. Probably not that many. Now, if you use it just like Xing Chou and you, you stay on your main DPS, that's all fine and dandy. But if the idea here is to rotate through all the units and use up all the flags, that's a DPS loss for me. If I'm swapping off my Ganyu, if I'm swapping off my, my DPS units, this would probably tank my damage instead of boost it because... My level one, you know, normal attack Shang Ling isn't going to be really doing anything. Now, if you stack it up, if you level up, maybe you're, you know, using child or something like that. Okay, we got some potential. But this one is really unique. And even though I want to test it, it almost seems like it's bad. That's just my first impressions. Again, we don't know until we have all the passives. And they don't, they don't show any of the, the passives. They don't show any of the constellations. So this could be completely different from how I'm viewing it. But for right now, I'm like, I'm, I'm not too sure about that, Captain. It might be great. It might be. But at the same time, it might be two sheep's turns and a freaking gun You know what I'm saying? She like, oh, I've got a clip on the ear. Right? So um, that's something to definitely consider. So my overall thoughts... Uh, Overall look, uh, story, voice acting, 10 out of 10, honestly, for a four-star character. She's really cool. Uh, I love her little backstory. I like her singing. It's just so unique. I really, really like uh, Yunjin. I almost want to get a copy just to say I have her. And, uh, and, and like I think she really does have a great art style, great colors. Now, kit-wise, I think she's unique, and I, I want to test her. But again, we just don't have enough information to say, is she actually good? So I wouldn't get too hyped up, but I also wouldn't get too frustrated if you saw something in the kit like me that you're like, I don't know about that one. Because there's lots of characters where early on, like Kazuha, I was like, that doesn't seem that good, but then it, it was amazing. <laughs> it's God tier. So I'm hyped for this character. I can't wait for the full kit, all the constellations, because, you know, maybe she's really going to surprise us. Right now, hype level is well. It's, it's, it's decent, but it's, it's whelmed. I'm not getting too excited. The fact that you can get her for free, though, from the new event gives you options. You don't have to wish on the banners. You can get a copy of her for free. And so if you see something you like, when more reviews and information comes out, you can make that decision. And that's, that's it. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.